Well, hello, Move Easy Movers. Welcome to Move Easy Yoga with Kathy. Uh, today is Tuesday, July 19th. Normally, V is on Tuesdays, but she's still on her trip. I'm back from mine, so I'm taking her spot today. Um, or it's whatever day you're watching this on YouTube. So we're going to go ahead and start the normal way with the chair and our legs on a chair. Uh, hold on just a second here. Okay, so seven minute static rest. Your legs are on a chair or couch or something where your knee and your hip are at 90 degree angles. You'll want something under your head, a bunch of folded washcloths, or in this case, a small animal bed. And we're going to go ahead and hold this position for seven minutes. This puts your lower back in traction. And especially if you've been on your feet, it feels really good. So breathe normally. Put your arms wherever they're comfortable. And seven minutes.
Okay, seven minutes is up. So stay where you are and slowly roll your head to the right and to the left three or four times. Loosen up your neck a little. Finish up. Next, we're going to do head ramping. So put whatever it is you like under your head or at your occipital ridge. You can keep your head on the washcloths or put a sponge ball or therapy balls. And the idea is to press your occipital ridge towards the floor, the back of your neck where your neck meets your scalp towards the floor and hold it. And then release. We'll do this three or four times. Press, hold, release. Press, hold. Release, press, hold, release, one more, press, hold, release, okay, all righty. Okay, next we're gonna do breathing. So I thought we'd do square breathing today. Square breathing is at the count of four, you inhale and you hold for four, then you exhale at the count of four and you hold for four. So, excuse me, whoa, ah. <laughs> so inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, Two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. One more time. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Good job. All right. I find sometimes if I can't sleep, I use that technique and it really helps me. Okay. And now we're going to do Vegas nerve reset, which is something I skipped over earlier. <laughs> so we're all familiar with that. You keep your head stationary and looking forward, and all you do is move your eyeballs from one side to the other, starting on the right. Move your eyeballs only to the right and wait for a sigh, swallow, gulp, or yawn. I yawn even when I think about it, it seems. And then back to center. And then you move your eyeballs only. Your eyes can be open or closed. Move your eyeballs only to the left and wait for that sigh, swallow, gulp, or yawn. And then do it two times on each side without my cueing.
to finish up. My eyes always water when I do that. And push your chair away or move away from your couch or whatever it is you had your legs on. We're going to do our hypopressives. So um, the first position is our regular position, feet flexed, shoulders back, arms rounded like you're hugging a tree. Flip your hands so they're facing the ceiling. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed against the floor. We'll take three breaths. On the third breath, hold our breath out for the count of 15. So three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, now exhale everything out of your lungs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Inhale, lower everything. Again, makes my eyes water. <laughs> okay, now extend your legs. Feet are flexed, put your right foot over your left. And since your left is over your right, put your right left hand over your right hand and above, above your head. And this is the position we'll use. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, third one, inhale, exhale, everything out. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Inhale, switch your legs left over right, your hands right over left, up above. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, everything out, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Inhale, relax for a minute. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we're going to try something new, um, and if you can't do this, either let me know or I'll show you options, but we're going to start with our legs up, straight up. Now, as straight as you can. If you can only go here, that's fine, too. Um, and let me adjust just a little so I can show you what I'm doing. And I will show you options. So basically, we're going to go straight up with our feet flexed. And then one at a time, 
our feet come down. We're going to do this 10 times. Now, if you have trouble with that, you can go straight out and back in. Or straight up like this and back down. Or if, you're, if your legs are like this, that will work too. So you can do that. Um, but straight up, feet flexed. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You might feel it back here in your in your hamstrings. Okay, come on down for a minute. If you do that in your own practice, you can go slower. Um, the next one is the same thing, only your feet are pointed. So again, you've got options. You can go like this. You can have your legs bent and go like this. You can um, just straighten your leg out if you want and go like that or kick up. The idea is to try to keep your hips 90. So we're going to do 10 reps, uh, one on each leg. So we're alternating one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. That's kind of a hard one. Okay, go ahead and come up to a sitting position. Cross like it is best. We're gonna do our side bends. So we'll start on the right. Let me get my timer ready. 40 seconds. Arm extended on the mat, others up and over. Keep both sits bones on the floor. Oh, I haven't done this in a while, it feels good. Now lower your arm to the floor your upper arm till it's parallel and reach for that wall. Feel a different stretch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, arm up, torso up. Other side. Arm along the mat, other arm up and over. You know, my trip, I didn't do much yoga. I did work out once, but I didn't do much yoga. I mostly just ate. <laughs> and lower that arm till it's parallel and reach for that wall. Feel that stretch. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Arm up. Torso up. All right, good. Now we're going to do our spine twist. So left hand on right knee. Right hand is behind you, spider fingers for support. And rotate your torso to the right. We're holding this for 40 seconds. And again, we have the options with our head. We can move our head back and forth. Or we can move our ribs back and forth. And we can do both, but not at the same time. Both or either. Oh, it just feels good to stretch. All right, slowly come back. We'll do the other side. Right hand on left knee. Left arm is behind you. Rotate. Make sure your back is straight. You're not slouching. Again, we have options with the head and with the rib cage. Okay, slowly come around. Good job. Now we're going to do our hip releases. So we're going to just hands on your knee or wherever they're comfortable and just rotate your torso in a circle. Keeping both sits bones on the ground. And we're doing this slowly. Doesn't matter which way you go, we're going to switch direction in a minute. So round and round we go. Go ahead and switch and go the other way, opposite of whatever you were doing before. I wondered where she went. Diane left and now she's coming back. She must be having issues. Okay. So go ahead and stop that. And we're going to go ahead and do the, like I said, the six point release with neuro bowls. So if you want, hi, Diana. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm having technical difficulties. I figured, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and do the six point foot release or six point hand release with the neuro bowls. So what I like to do is something Caitlin had suggested and be on my knees, the hero pose with the bricks. <laughs> you can be cross-legged if that works better for you. I just find this works for me. So 
let's start by flexing our hands, our fingers, and just see how, how they feel. And then we're going to do that again afterwards and see if there's a difference. So we've got the neural balls, one on each brick, and you can use um, therapy balls if you choose, if you don't have a neural ball. The first spot is right below the pads on the fingers, 30 seconds. There we go. Okay. The second spot is right in the middle of the palm. Again, 30 seconds. Now, if you're like me, you tend to hunch your shoulders, make sure that they're relaxed. All right, now the next part is right at the bottom of the base of the hand. Actually, no, it's to the side, excuse me. It's on the outside of the hand, below the pinky, just on the edge. Find your spot. Everybody's got a different spot. Now, when I was on my trip, I got a Manny Petty. And she massaged my hands and all oh, that felt good. And on the feet. Oh. See, there I am hunching again. <laughs> okay. And the next spot is right between the forefinger and the thumb, there's a webbing there. So somewhere around there. Again, try not to hunch. All right, and then the last spot is just at the base of the thumb. Should find a spot in there. Okay. All right, that's done. Now let's flex our fingers again and see if you notice any difference. I do. Wow. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing on our feet. So I want you to walk around the room a little bit, walk around your space, feel how your feet feel while I set up for this. We're doing a before and after. And I need my platform. You'll want something to hang on to, whether it's a wall, a chair, something of that sort. Okay. 
We're going to do one foot at a time. So. First part is right under the toe mound. And again, we're doing 30 seconds. And if you can, you'll want to bend your toes and stretch them, flex them out and in. while you're doing this or not, you know, it's up to you. Okay, the second spot is right in the middle of the arch. And again, if you can flex and point your toes, that's up to you. My hands are all tingly. <laughs> and then the third spot is right either on the heel mound or right before it, whichever is most comfortable for you. It's harder to flex your feet in this position. Okay, now the outside of the foot in the middle on the outside. Yes, I know. Find a spot that works. You hear the birds, it means Michael just got up. <laughs> okay. Now the inside on the arch, same thing, 30 seconds. This one gets me. All right, and the last one is under the big toe mound. Thirty seconds. All righty, so much for that foot. Go ahead and set up for your opposite foot, opposite of whatever it is you had before.
And we're going to start on this foot again under the toe mound, the middle of the foot. Thirty seconds. My left foot is much more stiff than my right. There we go. And adjust it down to the arch, middle of the foot. Set sensitive for me. Oops, I didn't set my timer. We get extra, we get extra time on this one. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. And then the third position is either on the heel or right before the heel. Okay, now the outside of the foot in the middle of the foot. Okay, now the inside of the foot in the middle, and this part that's always tender for me. Oh. All right, and the last position is under the big toe mound. Okay. All right. So now walk around the room, see how your feet feel. You should feel a little loosened up. And when you're ready, after you've walked around a little bit, go ahead and get your mat again, supine, on your back.
We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do our favorite core work. Oh boy. I know how you guys love this. So we're gonna do our leg extensions. I can get the angle right here. And I'll show you the options. Okay. So this is the beginning position and this is one. So we have options. You can start here and just put your foot down. You can put both feet down if you want. You can extend your leg out one at a time. You can also keep your feet on the floor and just extend them if that's better. And another Caitlin suggestion, put your hands under your hips. It might make it easier for you to do this movement. So we're gonna do 10 reps. Slowly. So one, two, three, four, Six, seven, almost there, eight. Nine, last one, ten. All right, good job. Take a breather. Oh, that one's tough. Although I don't know about you, but I really need it. <laughs> okay, one last thing we're going to do, and just do what you can. If you can't do it the whole way, that's no problem. We're going to hover for 10 seconds in this position. So if you come down early, that's fine. If you only want to do one leg, that's fine too. So whatever works for you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, drop. Good, good job. All right. So let's go ahead and roll over. We're gonna do our back extensions. So I have to take my glasses off for this because I'm face down. Now we are face down on the mat. And what we'll be doing is raising our head and shoulders. If you can't do that, that's okay. Just raise your arms. And when you are raising your head and shoulders, you wanna keep your face down and your neck extended like you're doing your head ramping again. Extend the occipital ridge on your neck so you're not looking up, you're not looking down, it's neutral. We'll be holding this position and then coming down and then we'll be coming up and doing airplane and coming down. So be careful how high you come up. If your lower back starts to hurt, lower yourself. Um, lower yourself whenever you need to. Then if you can, come back up. So it's a 40 second hold. So start by inhaling. Exhaling, come up. We're gonna hold this for 40 seconds. Come down early if you need to. 
again, if your lower back hurts, lower yourself. But if you're okay with it, try to try to raise yourself up a little. You got 16 seconds to go. Palms are towards the ceiling. Two, one. Inhale. Come on down. Good. Okay. We're going to do this again with the airplane move. So start at the beginning. Inhale. Exhale. Come up. Inhale. Exhale. Arms out. Stay here. Palms are facing the floor. Head is down. Again, be conscious of your lower back. Come down early if you need to. Take an inhale. And exhale, come down. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to do our side rotation. So we're in a T position. Our shoulders are on the floor. Head is turned towards the right. Keep your shoulders on the floor. Raise your right leg and pull it over to the left as far as you can. Your hips can move, but you need to keep your shoulders on the floor. This again is a 40 second stretch. You can do whatever you want with that leg. You can wave it in the air. You can bend your knee. You can flex your foot. Rotate your ankle. Don't need to touch the floor on the other side. The only thing you want to make sure you're doing is both shoulders are on the floor or on the mat. Okay, come on back. Now the other side, look left. Raise your left leg. Keep your shoulders down. Rotate. Your hip can come up. Do anything you want below the waist. Wave your leg in the air like you just don't care. Or touch the ground or not. Point and flex. Stretch that leg. Okay, come on down. All right. Now let's roll over again one more time on our back. We're going to do another stretch and then go into yoga nidra so this is a diagonal stretch so you got your legs maybe mat width apart your arms like a starfish so take your right arm up and your left leg up and stretch now you're going to flex your foot but stretch your fingers. So you're stretching your leg, heel first, and you're stretching your arm. And feel that stretch go all the way from your heel, all the way up to the tips of your fingers. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, yes. All right, relax. Now we'll do the other side. So your right foot, foot is flexed, heel is bent, your arm is up, so go ahead and stretch that leg, and stretch that arm, feel the stretch go from your heel to the tips of your fingers, stretch, 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 oh yes, oh, feels so good, 
All right. Okay, go ahead and get into position for yoga nidra. Put something over your eyes if you want to. Make sure you are warm and comfortable. I will guide you to systematically move your attention through internal points as I mention them. Allow your awareness to flow to these points without moving any part of your body. Begin with your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Observe your abdomen as it rises and falls with the gentle flow of your breath. Now bring your awareness to the center of your eyebrows, the center of your throat, right shoulder, elbow, wrist, right thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, right wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, left shoulder, elbow, wrist, left thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, left wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, spiritual heart center, right side of your chest, heart center, left side of your chest, heart center, navel center, center of your pelvis, right hip, knee, ankle, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, right ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, left hip, knee, ankle, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, navel center, heart center, center of your throat, center of your eyebrows. This concludes the 61 point guided meditation. So begin to wiggle and stretch, stretch your arms out, stretch your legs out, wiggle your fingers and your toes, Rotate your wrists and your ankles, first one way, then the other. Stretch your legs, I said that. <laughs> now hold your right knee to your chest and just hold it there for a minute. And then let that go and hold your left knee to your chest and just hold it there for a minute. Now hold both knees to your chest and roll back and forth. Feel that massage on your lower back. And when you're ready, roll towards the camera using your lower arm as a pillow. And take a moment to thank yourself and your cells for showing up today. And I thank you for exercising with me. And when you're ready, come up to a sitting position, unmute yourself, and we'll maybe change the view to gallery.
so we can see everyone. So again, I want to thank you for showing up for me today. Feels good to be back doing yoga. Hands to your heart. We're going to press them really hard for just a minute. And then soft. And we're going to end the class by saying to each other, namaste. 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 Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kathy. Okay, Caitlin, I have a question. Do any of you have an iPad? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What has happened to me is all of a sudden I've gotten this stupid magnifier 